114 years ago in 1896, the Canada's Cup tradition began and continued to be a symbol of racing supremacy on the Great Lakes. This year, the Chicago Matre Center, operating out of North Belmont Harbor in Chicago, Illinois, reached an agreement with the Port Credit Yacht Club in Mississauga. Two Far 40s were named the competitors with Don Wilson's team sailing Convexity and Grant Hood's team on Vinciri. America's Cup Olympic and World Champion veterans became the hands and minds operating the boats as both teams hit the water having never sailed against each other before. The only thing the teams knew was they had to win five races before the other team could. Hood, the Far 40 fleet racer, and Wilson, the founder of the Chicago Match Race Center and seasoned match racer, dialed up for the first race on October 15, 2010. Four-foot seas and 15-plus knots of breeze made getting the boat up to speed and keeping it there through the slop and shop of Lake Michigan a challenge. One thing match racers know is not to match race unless you have to, to just drive the boat and sail the ships, so Wilson pulled ahead again and again. In the second race, Wilson pushed the line hard and ended up getting a double penalty for barging at the boat. Hood had speed downwind, but it was no match for Wilson's upwind speed, even with the penalties. Wilson ended up three love for the day over Hood. Three seconds left on starboard, only 20 left on port, and uh, lead change towards the top of the There must have been some pep talk aboard Vinciri, because trading places with convexity all day, only to be handed a goose egg, wasn't going to be the plan for day two. With a new southwest wind direction, the seas laid down to Hood and his team. It was a day of splitting, where teams traded sides of the course and leads in the race, but Hood came out on top in the first race. The second race went to Convexity, bringing the score to 4-1. One more win for Convexity and the cup would be determined. American tactician Andy Horton aboard Vinciri helped the boat claim a perfect start. They let convexity shrink to the size of a Nerf football on the far side of the one mile plus windward leg, but they kept their wits the entire time. They horizoned convexity, crossing the finish line a full two minutes ahead. Down 2-5, Vinciri would have to win all three races in similar conditions to the first day to take the cup home to Canada. The dial-up, the start, and the top mark all belong to Convexity, but the last 10 boat lengths of the first leeward leg had Canada winning the inside and being the first around the mark. Covering the Americans all the way up the final beat wasn't quite enough as Wilson's team escaped and returned to the Canadians about a minute away from the starboard lay line. They had sailed in clear air just long enough to leave out Vinciri and slide out from underneath leaving Canada with a second place rounding. Convexity held Vinciri off all the way to the finish line to cross in first and win the cup with a 5-2 record. to Don Wilson and his team. For T2P TV, this is Ashley Love. You're watching T2P TV.